Hey crew, Mark Hanbaker here. Uh, uh, we just have recently, as of uh, March 1st, released uh, unleaded, another volume of unleaded, which is old school conditioning. Most of what is done uh, unleaded, it means with that weight. There's some weight in some of it. This volume we uh, had just released is talking about stabilizing muscle. This is not the uh, muscle, it's the second volume in our stabilizing series. It's not the muscle that are the prime movers, it's not the big uh, sexy show stuff you're thinking about, but the stuff where uh, all timers are big on making sure we can stabilize everything and making sure we're keeping all these huge joints. Uh, 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 safe and up to snuff and better able, uh, better able to handle some of the forces that we, uh, we put them through in the prime mover program. Now the, uh, the unleaded volume that covered the, tongue, the trunk, the torso, really was primarily you think about big spinal work. And this one we're really talking about stabilizing uh, the hips, all right? And we run you through, uh, I mean, the program, how it works, and how these start marrying together with all the other stabilizers and the prime movers. So the only thing I want to give you here is just let me give you an example of one exercise. Uh, I'll give you the rep, the count, the proper form, everything like that. But uh, I'm not going to lie to you, without knowing the sequencing where it falls within the program, it doesn't have the same synergistic effect if you don't know where it falls in and ties in with everything else. No, no, but it's just something to play with and give you food for thought. Uh, the exercise size is called a gorilla squat. Uh, and for the record, even though I used to do hundreds of them, we don't do Hindu squats, anything like that around here. We don't really rep anything higher than 10. We just find different ways to put these combinations together in, in kind of a wave formation and formation gives you what you want. In my opinion, better results. Gorilla squat, to do, fairly easy. Just uh, stand about a little more than shoulder width apart. And your feet, toes uh, slightly pointed out. Okay, sounds good. We want to think about this. So there's going to be three points of tension all the way through this exercise. Uh, I want you to imagine yourself standing on a huge sheet of paper. So while you're standing on that piece of paper, I want you to be driving your feet outwards as hard as you can to tear that sheet of paper. That tension never stops. We're going to apply equal tension to the inside. We're going to bend over. We're going to put our hands, our palms of our hands together, put our knees out, our elbows to the inside of the knees. At the same time, we're tearing that paper apart. We're squeezing in with the knees with equal tension. So we've got two points going on here. We are spreading out as hard as we can, and we're also driving our knees to the inside as hard as we can. That's, that's not all, all right? That's just the, really the prep position. I want, to, I want you to realize that tension never comes off. It's always tear the paper and squeeze and crush uh, the radius and all over your own, own body. The up position is right here. So you're already kind of leaning down the down position. Bottom of it is right here where our thighs come parallel. The cadence on this entire thing, so remember tearing the paper, squeezing here. The cadence would be two seconds up. So this going to be one, two, pause, then ten down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, pause, back. You get what the count's going to be. But remember, the key is what? No, the tension never leaves. You're never not tearing the paper. You're never not driving to the inside with the knees. And so this kind of hits that knee hip position. So many unusual ways you would run. You can do three sets of ten with it, but I want you to think about doing the rest in between is that five bring down the thru, uh, fronts. And uh, the true test of this is how it floats in and mix and matches with the rest of the material. In isolation, it's still a fun exercise, but I'm not going to lie to you, it works far better when you've got it with the entire synergistic effect. They're all working together. Again, that is on the, ES, uh, on the unleaded volume 2B. And you can take a look at it on our, on our website or listen to our podcast, Mark Hatmaker, Rough and Tumble, Rack and Tour.